With terrorist groups on the rise, many are considered more dangerous than others. Multiple articles show that Boko Haram is classified as the top five deadliest terrorist groups and has been proven than being more deadliest than ISIS. However, with less global recognition, the Nigerian group is now in the rise of committing multiple terrorist attacks in Nigeria, Cameroon, Niger, and Chad. Since the beginning of Boko Haram's insurgencies in 2009, there have been reportedly 32,000 deaths and 2 million people have been displaced. However, it was not all violence in Boko Haram's history. It was created in 2002 by Mohamed Yusuf as a peaceful protest group against the Nigerian government at that time. The group was a Sunni Islamic fundamentalist group who enforced the Sharia law. It was in 2009 that the group was designated as a Salafist Jihadi group. Their leader, Yusuf, was killed in a police riot the same year. Boko Haram now emphasizes groups like Shiite, Sufi, and Isala as infidel. They also start opposite the Western beliefs and practices. Since then, the group has been involved in multiple terrorist attacks. In April 14, 2014, Boko Haram kidnapped 275 girls from a school in Chibuk, Nigeria. Boko Haram bombed Jos Plateau State, Nigeria in the 20th of May 2014. The bombing killed 118 people and injured 56. The most recent attack was the May 31st, 2017. Boko Haram attacked soldiers in Cameroon while they were playing football. Among the dead was the military chief. However, Boko Haram attacks have not been led by one single leader, since their leaders have changed many times. Their first leader was Mohamed Yusuf, until his death. Then, Abu Bakar Shekau was the next leader until he was disowned by Boko Haram. The most recent leader is Abu Musab al-Barniwi, who is thought to be Mohamed Yusuf's son. The group is engaged with ISIS, which might be arguably the deadliest terrorist duo in the world. Counterterrorism efforts have been implied, however, with limited success. Although counterterrorism efforts have been successful, they have caused riots to the city, making counterterrorism attempts in a way counterproductive. Much of the counterterrorism efforts have been from countries in the West, like the US and also the Nigerian government. Other countries have cooperated, including France, whose government is active at helping counter Boko Haram. Despite the extensive conflicts and deaths on both sides, the Nigerian government and Boko Haram have managed to reach certain agreements. Recently, 82 girls were released by Boko Haram in exchange for five other leaders. Both the Red Cross and the Swiss government were involved. The Red Cross served as intermediaries and transported the girls from Boko Haram territory to the military base, where they were transported by air to the Nigerian capital, Abuja. For more information, go to our links below in the description. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.